Hi everyone, so I have just finished playing the Brandywine uh, scenario in this game, which is the Tri-Pack Battles of the American Revolution from GMT Games. It is a, um, it's a box game where you get three of the American Revolution games that they put together in one large box. Um, I have played uh, all the different scenarios that you get and I've done after action reports for the main one so you can check those out as well the components each um, you get a, a couple of uh, mounted maps they're double-sided for the different uh, games and scenarios that you'll use they are gorgeous the artwork is great they're hard wearing they look great on the table the counters are very nice very clear all the contents of the counters. This is a lot of counters. Um, in fact, generally you get a lot of gain for your money with this with this product. You also get uh, a core rulebook, which is the Great Battles of the American Revolution rulebook, and then depending on what um, sort of scenario you're playing, then you'll have an additional rulebook as well. So, for example, playing Brandywine this evening, um, I I was using the series rule book and I was using the exclusive rule book as well both of these are great um, there's not a huge number of rules for the actual core game let me just check how many pages uh, 16 pages it's not a in the grand scheme of war games this is not a terribly complex game it is also however I'm not sure I would recommend this for a complete um, newcomer to hex and counter type war games it sort of sits in the middle um, so I would call it medium complexity, I feel. And the actual core mechanics, moving the counters, doing combat, are actually very straightforward. Where the game gets a little bit more detailed is the specific rules to each battle. Um, and some of those can be quite lengthy. Um, but they're very clear in the rule book, and they're all detailed really nicely in the rule book. So I've never played any one of these games and unsure how something should work i've always read the rules and gone oh, this is how i'm going to do it, it makes sense um the the battles themselves so brandy one that i've just finished takes the longest to play um utah springs is the shortest i would say and that is a couple of hours um the larger games i normally play these over over a couple of evenings you probably could play them in an evening a long evening um if you were playing with say two players and you, you want to play the game and finish the game in one sitting i think you could probably do that but it would be a longer game session so maybe three or four hours something like that i would say um but they play at a really nice pace um there's plenty of action for both players there's lots of interesting choices all the mechanics are make sense from a war gamer's point of view so if you're used to playing hex encounter games like this you'll have no problems at all there's some interesting um, features of the game. Um, one is that they, um, for combat, there is a, uh, a deck of cards per side, and you choose what card you'd like to play, um, and you can't always choose the cards that you'd ideally want, and then you compare the cards to each other, and that's quite an interesting mechanic, and that determines any modifiers to the combat. But the actual core combat um, is very straightforward. Each count has number of strength points, you add those up, you compare them to the enemy, you work out the odds, you look at the table, you roll the dice, his modifiers, very straightforward. Same with movement, very straightforward. Morale is interesting. The other thing that's uh, interesting is that each side has a, um, a morale for the whole side. That moves up and down depending on what happens. So when you take casualties or um, your units get captured and they will happen, that will happen quite a lot. Um, that morale goes down and you can win battles just by literally wearing the opposing side down so that their morale is completely lost as an army and that's quite an interesting mechanic um, high quality components I'm a uh, I would say in conclusion yep high quality components a lot of gain for your money I love these tri packs that GMT put out um, partly because I love the game I love the history and the setting and the theme and all that good stuff but also the value for money in these games is incredible. Um, for the money that I paid for that game, 
I have had many, many evenings of enjoyment, which is, which is from a gamer's point of view, from a user's point of view, is wonderful. Um, so high quality components, everything to me seems clear. And there's a lot to learn. I think there's a lot of nuances in the mechanics and how you apply those and how you use them to best of your abilities when playing the game. Um, which is, means the game has a lot of depth. So um, in a lot of the games I've played, I've kind of realised halfway through and gone, oh, yeah, I should have done that a bit different. I kind of didn't think that through or I should have been a bit more decisive at this point, a bit more willing to take risks at this point, um, which is great because that means that I can play the game again and kind of go take that learning to my next game session. So I've, I've enjoyed all that. And this series has that in spades. Um, it is probably... I'll probably do a review at some point on my my game collection of the War of Independence, the War of the American Revolution. Um, it's probably my favourite series of games for that historical period. And it's a historical period that I particularly um, enjoy learning more about, learning, doing research and reading books and so forth. It is a, um, I've said this to quite a few people, it's a shame that it's really, certainly here in the UK, it's just not taught um, at school at any level for example and I think I say shame that we don't teach um, uh, and want to learn more about the history um, and our involvement in, in the things you can learn from that period of history and there's a lot to learn from that period of history um, and I enjoy I enjoy learning all those things and thinking about them and, and so forth so it's a great period for me it's a great historical period a great series of um, uh, terms of quality of the components is ex I mean it's excellent value for money is excellent I've enjoyed every single time I've played this game I've enjoyed every single scenario I've played they all play quite differently different pacings different not different scale in terms of unit scales but just in terms of how long the game takes to play and the um the the, the size of the battles is quite varied which is great it means you, can, you haven't got much time you can play one of the smaller scenarios Got more time, etc., etc. So, high recommendation for me. Um, probably one of my favourite series of games, partly because I really love the history of this period, but also the me the mechanics, the components. They all make sense. They're super streamlined. So for me, this sort of, in a way, this sort of medium difficulty is quite a sweet spot for me as a gamer. Um, I particularly enjoy playing games in that sort of difficulty range. So yeah. High recommendation for me. Love it. Love it. Um, thanks a lot for watching, as ever. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Thank you.